Welcome back to The Buzz. In today's video, we would like to separate major technology leaps in historical development of jet fighters. Now, this will be a classification of jet fighters from first to the sixth generation. Categorization is unofficial and imprecise because there is no authorized classification concept based on features and performance of aircraft. However, based on research, we would like to present to you guys the speed comparison of jet fighters from first to sixth generation, so stay tuned. The first-generation jet fighters were developed from the mid-1940s to the mid-1950s. They were the first attempt at creation of fighter aircraft using jet engines. Now, the earliest jet fighters usually did not carry radar except for the handful of ME-262 jet fighters built and deployed in 1944. During the last days of World War II, so-called piston engines with propeller reached their speed limits and the speed increase was nearly impossible. The average speed of the first-generation aircraft is a high subsonic speed that is Mach 0.3 to Mach 0.8. Now let's move on to the second-generation jet fighters. Now these jet fighters were developed between the mid-1950s and the early 1960s. The development of second-generation fighters were shaped by technological breakouts and experience gained during the Korean War. New researchers brought better aeronautical knowledge, material and avionics innovations, and now new planes were equipped with radars, which gave them the opportunity to use air-to-air -air missiles as a primary weapon. The early second-generation fighter jets have a transonic speed like the F-84 Thunderstreak, MIG-15, and so on. Whereas in the early 60s, most of them reached the early supersonic speed, hence the average speed is high transonic. Next is the third generation of jet fighters. Now, these were the class of fighter aircraft developed between the early 1960s and 1970s. It was a continuation in research of advanced avionics, aerodynamics performance, and air-guided missiles. The changes in the fighter combat conception, new air-to-air -air guided missiles, and the results from the second-generation fighter operations gave rise to the third generation such as the MIG-19. This era also saw an expansion in ground attack capabilities, principally in guided missiles, and witnessed the introduction of the first truly effective avionics for enhanced ground attack, including terrain avoidance systems. So I have said earlier, the early 60s involved jet fighters that are in the early supersonic, and as it approaches towards the 70s, they reach to a supersonic speed. Hence, the average speed of the third-generation jet fighters would be Mach 2. The fourth-generation jet fighter is a general classification of jet fighters in service from the early 1970s to 1990. Fourth-generation fighter jets are mostly multi-role aircraft, sophisticated avionics especially fly-by-wire system, improved maneuverability at the expense of aerodynamic instability. Electronics became the most essential part of the equipment, and this generation of fighters gave birth to beyond visual range warfare in fighter fights and dogfighting started to become rare. Examples of these aircraft are F-15 and S-27. Due to the dramatic enhancement of capabilities in these upgraded fighters and in new designs of the 1990s that reflected these new capabilities, the Russian government has taken to using the designation 4.5 generation to refer to these later designs. They have improved sensors, better networking and many more. Anyway, the speed of these aircraft normally range from Mach 1.8 to 2.5. Now, coming to the fifth generation of jet fighters. Well, these jet fighters encompasses the fighter technologies developed during the first part of the 21st century. As of 2019, these are the most advanced aircraft. Fifth generation fighters are practically the same as the fourth or 4.5 generation fighters, but are redesigned and focused on reducing their radar signature as much as possible and achieving stealth in the process where the aircrafts are almost invincible in radar along with improved technology. 
as of December 2018, the only combat-ready fifth-generation fighters are the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, and the Chengdu J-20. Talking about speed, they are considered to have the same speed as that of fourth-generation fighters. Now, a 6th generation jet fighter is a conceptualized class of fighter aircraft design more advanced than the 5th generation jet fighters and few are currently in development. Low radar cross sections and radar absorbent materials will be necessary but not sufficient feature of 6th generation fighters. Some theories argue that stealthy airframes may eventually be rendered obsolete by advanced sensor technology. Beyond visual range missiles will remain a key technology. Extent missiles like the AIM-120D can already hit targets over 100 km away, but realistically, it must be fired much closer to have a good chance of a kill against an agile fighter-sized target. Now talking about speeds, well, as of now, we can't give the average speed of the 6th generation fighter jets, but if you look at the Mikoyan MIG-41, which is considered to be a 6th generation project, it is capable of reaching a speed of up to Mach 4.3. So this is it guys, you can now follow our social media accounts, the link will be given in the description box below and if you've liked this video, don't forget to hit that notification and that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our new videos. Thank you so much for viewing and bye bye.